I took once, a long time ago, back in the 70s. Not my 70s, the 1970s. Um, asked a friend if she wanted to take a ride with me, do a little roading. She said, sure. Didn't know where we were going, but we went up to Woodstock, New York, and spent a day or two there, and then we went to Woodstock, Vermont, spent a couple days there, and then to Woodstock, New Hampshire, and, and Woodstock, Maine, and then Woodstock, Massachusetts, before we came back to beautiful New Jersey. And a couple years later, I found myself living in Newburyport, Massachusetts, and uh, I was working in Kennebunkport, Maine, at a gas station slash marina, working on cars and boats, which was pretty neat to be floating in a boat at a dock and trying to do a tune-up on it or change the water pump on an inboard motor. But uh, one day the boss came back there and got me and uh, had an emergency. Someone who broke down in 95 and made his way over there. And uh, I go out and talk to this guy, and he's got a hole in the radiator of his car. And uh, I told the guy, well, I can patch it, or I can order you a new radiator and put it in there. And the guy says, you're from New Jersey. And I said, what do you mean I'm from New Jersey? Of course I'm from New Jersey. I still need a radiator. And he says, no, what, is that, what does that thing do? And I said, it radiates heat. And he says, so it's a radiator. It's not a radiator. Only people from New Jersey would call it a radiator. So I guess the guy got me on that one. But I was thinking, New Jersey's got this really bad rap. And even Allen Ginsberg, who sits in with me down here, my friend, uh, he lives over in what he calls God's country in Pennsylvania there, over the mighty Delaware River. And uh, I don't know. If that's God's country, then you believe in God, then it's all God's country. So I don't know why people say that. but. Um, that first road trip, not the first one, but the one to Woodstock, got me thinking about all these bad raps that New Jersey has with the news and the refineries and everything. So I'm thinking it's time for another road trip, and I do know uh, quite a few people who would want to go on it, and I'm going to need a film crew and somebody who could take still pictures good, and an artist, because I'm going to need somebody to draw some pictures in case there's a Maxfield Parish sky out, or I don't know if any of you saw it last night, but that crescent moon was orange with a big red glow around it, right a little after 9 o'clock, and things like that you want to take down as many different ways as you can. But I was thinking I'd leave my house and get on Route 513 down the mountain there in Califon, head west away at the Delaware River, and then just drive around the perimeter of New Jersey, head south, go down through places like, I guess, Milford and Frenchtown and Lambertville and in Trenton and Camden, but then through the Pine Barrens and down to Cape May and then come up the coast. It'll be a fun trip. We'll be taking pictures and talking to people and looking at some really great things. And of course, then coming up the coast, you got all these boardwalks, Wildwood and Atlantic City and all that fun stuff. And then you're going to end up by Linden and Elizabeth and the refineries that give us our bad name. But We'll take care of that. We'll figure some way to make it look nice, sound nice, feel nice for everybody. Then we'll get up north of that to like places where the Poe folks in New Jersey live, Saddle River, and Ringwood, or Ridgewood, excuse me. Eventually we'll get to Ringwood State Park and up to High Point State Park, and we'll even uh, make our way over to Port Jarvis and then come down the Delaware River till we hit Route 513 again, and then we'll head home. I need a lot of help for this. A lot of people have to sign on for this. We'll get one of those big wooden bagels or something like that and do it. But then I started thinking, you know, that's only the perimeter of New Jersey. I have to hit the inner parts of New Jersey as well. So uh, I've thought of the Dave Van Ronk song where every word in the song is the name of the town in New Jersey. So when we're done doing the perimeter, we'll just like put numbers and pegs on the map and Dave Van Romp mentions the name of the town in New Jersey and we'll just go visit all of those and meet people and take pictures and videos and make paintings at all of these places. And uh, 
and we'll put out a documentary and of course we'll never make any money off of it. Of course, to do this, I have to hit the New Jersey lottery tonight or we're not going anywhere. But if any of you want to sign on, you can give me a call down here. <laughs> Maybe I'll hit that lottery tonight and then we can do it all. The thing that sparked this uh, little madness in my head for the last week, um, this little diversion or distraction from my normal trials and tribulations and woes, was an email I got down here last week uh, during free wheeling. And it wasn't the content of the email because it was just a request for a song. It was the return address on the email is from NJ Linda. And I don't even know if the NJ stands for New Jersey, but I just started thinking that was pretty cool. But if she emails friends or work people or whatever over in Australia or Finland or Alaska or even Pennsylvania, these people probably think the same thing I do, that she's from New Jersey because her email address is NJ Linda. I'm not going to tell you the rest of it. So I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to thank uh, NJ Linda, whoever she might be, for giving my mind a nice distraction for the past week and uh, <laughs> letting me fantasize a bit. But of course, if I get that lottery tonight, it won't be a fantasy anymore. So you better call up and sign up. By the way, I'm Jethro, and this is Freewheeling on WDBR-FM, the greatest station anywhere, and we are proud to bring you the best radio anywhere on planet Earth from beautiful Surgeonsville, New Jersey. Uh, you can give me a call down here at 609-397-1620, extension 5, or shoot me an email, host at wdbrfm.org. Now, um, Jeff is here. Jeff, how are you doing tonight? What are you on there? 312? You're not on anything yet. Oh, put the headphones on and uh, let's get going. I'm done with Gavin. Gavin, not for anything. Right. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing all right. I'm here with Tom, mm -hmm. who's uh, making a documentary himself. Yeah, he's, people love to make me nervous and see me sweat. I don't sweat this much at work. Uh, Tom Bodock is videoing me right now. I have no idea why. But I already gave Jeff some money. I'm hoping to get it back with the lottery tonight, my lottery winnings, but I get Jeff money to tackle him. Give me film out of that thing before Bodoc gets out of here. He's not leaving until 10. Bodoc, you're not videoing me all night, please. Yeah. Uh, that would be quite disgusting, Tom, believe me. Especially when people start seeing all the donuts I eat during my show. <coughs> we'll just check YouTube. <laughs> Hey, shoot me an email, host at wdbrfm.org or whatever you want to do. I don't know. A friend of mine, well, a friend of mine got stuck on a dead end street tomorrow, and Bob Dylan just happens to do a song called uh, 90 Miles an Hour Down a Dead End Street. Uh, 